MLB The Show 23 will be releasing in less than one week for early access, and I'm so pumped for this release. And I know a lot of you guys are probably already thinking about starting up your Diamond Dynasty team. So in this video, we'll be going over a few things that you should be doing to prepare for MLB The Show 23 Diamond Dynasty. And I'll also go over a couple of ways to be making a ton of stubs the first week of the game. So I hope you guys can sort of use this video as a guide for what you should be doing to make stubs early on in Diamond Dynasty. And make sure you guys do hit that subscribe button for these types of videos all throughout MLB The Show 23. I'll also be dropping a lot of these, you know, these types of videos, but also, um, you know, videos on the quickest ways to earn XP, finish programs, and plenty of other videos. But let's get into everything, and I'll start off with one simple thing to do if you haven't already, and that is to pre-order MLB The Show 23. So if you know you're getting the game the first week it's coming out, you might as well pre-order and get those extra bonuses, and you can pre-order any time before the release of the game. I would also suggest logging into your MLB The Show account on theshow.com and signing up for the scouting report, which should once again give you free packs throughout the year. And if you have a Twitch account, go to theshow.com and link your Twitch account to your MLB The Show account. Uh, and then every once in a while, you will be able to start earning packs for watching MLB The Show 23 streams on Twitch. And I would imagine either the first or second weekend of 23, we will have the ability to watch streams and to earn free packs, which again, will just give you, uh, you know, maybe you'll get a diamond or two out of it, or maybe, you know, you'll just want the stubs from it. But nonetheless, it you are being rewarded for watching streams. And I will be streaming some on Twitch, actually. So I'm going to go ahead and put my username up on the screen if you guys uh, want to just search for it on Twitch. And if you guys want to stream, uh, you know, to hang out in while you earn these free packs, go ahead and follow along on that. But now we finally get to the question, uh, you know, what should we be doing the first few days of MLB The Show 23 to be making tons of stubs and getting all the cards you want? Um, and, you know, you might be thinking you want to jump into just a ton of games and, you know, grind a lot of games, get good cards. And while that isn't necessarily an awful idea to do early on, I will suggest some other ways to be making tons of stubs those first few days of Diamond Dynasty. And I would definitely suggest prioritizing these tips. The first thing I'll mention before I get into these ways to make stubs is that there will be a free 86 overall Derek Jeter card available in the store for everyone to get. At the time of this recording, we don't know how long he will be available in the store for free, but I would guess it would be up for maybe the first week, and then he'll go away. But be sure to pay attention for how long he'll be up in the store. But now I'll go over what I do and what typically gets me a ton of stubs the first few days of the game's release, which first of all will most likely start off with you opening up your pre-order packs or other packs you earn within the game. And most of the cards the first few days will be going for a lot, so make sure you guys are staying up on selling all of your cards you're not using, including jerseys, you know, sponsorships, uh, equipment items, and other items you guys don't need. Because most likely what will happen is you guys will have thousands of stubs worth of items just sitting in your inventory, collecting dust. So you might as well sell them and make a little bit of stubs off that. But what I do when it comes to players, though, is for the most part I sell most of my non-diamond cards because a ton of silvers and golds will hold a lot of value for the first couple of weeks after release and if you get early access to a 23 you also might want to be a little patient with selling until the game is out for you know everyone that following week because cards will likely go up in value even more for those first couple of weeks that everyone has the game and keep in mind though the marketplace can be very weird and fluctuate like crazy especially these first few weeks so pay attention to the marketplace and timing the exact moment to sell your cards can be very hard to predict and I understand that going through your inventory, you know, can just to sell a bunch of cards every day can get tedious. I understand that. But taking the time to sell, you know, most of these cards you don't need, including all your gold and silver players, will definitely pay off for you. Also, take a look at the starter collections right away. As you guys will see, normally what you need are just a ton of common cards or common equipment other common items to complete these so hold on to those and work on the starter collections you know just for a little extra stubs 
which is always nice. And you should be able to do this by like the end of the first, you know, or the second, third day maybe that you have the game. And we've seen starter collections every year in Diamond Dynasty pretty much. So, uh, you know, so I'm mean, just assuming they'll be back. Uh, it's just a one night, you know, like I said, another little extra way to earn some stubs. And I'll also have a video out at some point once the game drops about which collections you should complete early on and the best way to complete some of the other more expensive collections. The other thing I highly, highly suggest, and this has probably been the most effective stub making method over the course of, you know, Diamond Dynasty history, is flipping cards. And I hope you guys have made it this far in the video because this is super, super important and super important to just keep an eye on. So, uh, you know, this is always an effective method for making stubs, but especially right when the game drops uh, because the marketplace is just so active with tons of new people coming in and buying and selling cards and when you're flipping cards just you know make sure uh, I'm gonna have a whole video out on this soon actually but make sure basically what you're doing is putting in buy orders for a low amount and then when you um, when those go through you're putting in high sell orders on the cards to make a profit off of them so uh, you know as you see I'm showing you guys some examples right here like this Tyone card uh, large uh, difference between 45,000 and 12,000 that's a good um, uh, card to flip, you know, put in a buy order for like 13,000 and then once that goes through you'll put in a sell order for like 44,000 or whatever. Um, you guys kind of get that and I'm sure most of you guys know about flipping as well. And the cards that I normally flip early in the year are normally gold cards or low overall diamonds so pay attention to those but mainly what you want to look for which I kind of said mentioned before um, are you know, cards that have a fairly big gap between the buy and sell prices for cards. Um, so I'm showing you guys a ton of examples of that um, on the screen here. So I hope you guys are paying attention to that. But I would also suggest flipping cards on the MLB The Show companion app. This is key. Download it if you guys haven't already because you will easily be able to flip cards right on your phone. And this is what I did for most of MLB The Show 22 when I was you know, I would just be chilling, watching t a TV show or something, or even playing offline Diamond Dynasty games, and I would also be flipping cards um, and making stubs that way. Um, so I know not everyone will be this dedicated to flipping cards, but this is just an extremely good strategy for making, like, literally thousands of stubs each day. And just to kind of tell you guys how effective this method really is for making stubs, there would be a lot of days last year in, in MLB 22 where I would be making a couple hundred thousand stubs a day flipping cards on my phone. So this is an extremely effective method. Um, and if you guys have questions on this, let me know. But otherwise, like I said before, keep an eye out because I will have a video about uh, flipping cards, but then also other strategies for making stubs. At this point, I believe it's confirmed that featured programs are coming back this year. So there also will be certain game modes within Diamond Dynasty that you should be prioritizing the first couple of weeks after the release if you guys are looking to maximize stubs from gaining XP quickly and progressing through the featured program as quickly as possible. And, uh, you know, obviously being able to profit off of, you know, the cards you get from that, selling them early on to make as much stubs as possible. Uh, last year, you know, Mini Seasons was a great option for getting tons of XP very quickly. And we also had the Ball Player XP method, which is probably the best of all methods for uh, making XP very quickly. But I'll be putting out a video a couple days after the game release about which modes you should be playing if you want a ton of XP quickly so you can maximize those stubs. Um, so be on the lookout for that video and subscribe if you guys haven't already. And once we get the game and start playing, we'll come across other good stub making methods within the mode that we don't know about yet. Uh, so I'll have videos, those stub making videos out early on in MLB The Show 23 Diamond Dynasty uh, and just plenty of other videos as well. If you guys have any other stub making tips that I did not cover in the video, go ahead and leave a comment about that. I'm just hoping that this video helps you guys make easy stubs early on in MLB 23. And there's probably something I missed so you guys might have more to add. And like I said in the beginning of the video, I'm just hoping you guys can use this video as a sort of guide to help you get started with your MLB The Show 23 Diamond Dynasty team. And we are getting so close to the release of the game. I can't wait to hop in and start playing. And let me know what you guys are looking forward to the most. But I appreciate you guys for sticking around to the end and watching. That'll be it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.